Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Winston Media travel vlog. Today I'm here in the capital of Germany which is Berlin. It's Sunday the 31st of October and I tell you what this beautiful weather is shining today 13 degrees local and on today's travel vlog I will be going to Bill It Hospital. It's a hospital which has been abandoned for the last 25 years. It served uh, as a military hospital back in World War I for tuberculosis, which is a lung disease for obviously the soldiers who got injured and wounded back in World War I. And obviously, as I just mentioned, that lung disease. And in World War II, it was also used to help the uh, sick and injured Nazi uh, patients who got injured in World War II. And it served as an active hospital all the way up until the mid 1990s. It's still currently standing today. It's uh, approximately an hour and 45 minutes via train. So we're gonna literally go there via train. And apparently it's um, kind of like a La Rundle. Anyone who knows me well, we had La Rundle back in the day, which was a mental asylum uh, in Bandura in Melbourne, Victoria. So obviously a lot more history uh, at this one, uh, Bialitz Hospital. And guys, if you do enjoy my videos, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It means the absolute world to me. Drop some comments in the videos below as well. Give it a big like if you do like it. And one more thing, I am currently raising for money for Beyond Blue, which uh, helps people with anxiety, depression, and mental health issues back home in Australia. And obviously it's a worldwide issue as we currently speak here in 2021. So look, let's get straight into the video. I hope you enjoy, and I'm looking forward to the adventure today. Now the Beal Litz Hospital, 121 years old. So it's a beautiful day here, 13 degrees, and yeah, it's good to be exploring Germany on the train system. Okay, as you can see, paying for the ticket now, nine euro. These trains have conductors, so there's no way to get around it. So the ticket says your printouts are being issued, number one. And number two. Here we go. Olay, olay, olay. Off towards the hospital. Let's do it. So we're here at 1C and we're going to catch the Jatterborg train, the R line, which I don't know could mean regional line, but it's another five stops to there. Then we're going to jump on a bus. So essentially, this whole trip's going to take about two hours. It just cost nine euro to uh, get from this point A, where we are currently at Wannasee, to Jutterberg. And I don't even know if that allows us to come back, so I might have to buy another one on the way back. But uh, yeah, eventually getting there. But uh, it's certainly a little bit more challenging with the language barrier and everything going on at the minute. But we'll see what happens once we arrive. Looking forward to it.
Hello. Can I get uh, two cappuccino? No, no. no coffee? No, not fertig. No coffee. It's not working. Okay, uh, do you want a Coca Cola? Yeah. Uh, do you have Coca Cola? Coke? No, I don't have it. I need this one. Okay. Sprite. Uh, orange juice. Oh, sorry, um, apple juice. Is that what you want? And uh, un, uh, beer. You got a beer? Ein beer. Uh, yeah, why not? Yep. Yeah, you got cold or no? You got cold? Do you know the word? No? Um, no, that's okay. Yeah, just that, that's fine. That's yep. fast. Uh, yep. 3,30 Yes. Can I open it? Uh, open, yes, please. Yeah, open, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Take the sheep. Sheep. It is a beer, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Shen. Okay, so just seen, went to the shop. I wasn't even planning on drinking today. I actually walked in there to get a coffee. But as you're doing, well, it's mainly in Bavaria, but we're not in Bavaria. We're in, uh, <laughs> we're actually in Berliner. So the Berlin district, which is like Brandenburg. And uh, I've got a Rattle Burger, Pilsner. So, cheese and uh, happy Sunday. Ooh, not too bad. 4.8% alcohol volume, half litre, and I think it was around two euro, so it was an absolute bargain. And the good thing about the German system is that you can recycle the bottles and you get 10 cents back for every one that you drink so yep good for the environment not so good for the health but you know what a beer enjoy responsibly okay so we've just arrived here to the hospital and it cost 13.50 to get in which i didn't realize right pretty steep um but it is a beautiful day here and i can see the first building So let's go exploring. Okay, here we go. We are going in. snuck into the Bannon Hospital. It's about 4 p.m. here on a Sunday afternoon. And I'm telling you, it is freaky. Staircase. Sure. 
bad day. I remember I'm in here by myself. Outside. I'm not feeling that scared, but I mean, if you could just imagine going back in time, World War One, that's over 100 years ago as we speak. It'd be pretty cool for uh, look at the old furniture. Creepers run up my spine here because I'm by myself, number one. Number two, I'm not actually meant to be in here. <sighs> and uh, not sure how far I'm going to go in, but. through the building so you kind of feel like someone's watching you even though there's no one here so I kind of feel safe because literally the outside's there but I'm not sure I'd come here at night um, there's an eerie staircases up there you should see no one's in that room but even the shadow off, off the uh, camera light on the phone Probably would have been a fire, a fire extinguisher at some point. That's all locked up, so I've had to sneak in. Go old school, but you can see it's chained as well. Clearly, I'm sure they do tours legally, just by how clean it is. <sighs> Maybe there's a reason this one's locked as well. You can see. But, they're not for the faint hearted, this one. So you hear birds chirping. I mean, I do want to go upstairs, but I don't know. I feel like the further I go into the building, the scarier it will become. Obviously, doing renovations in here. A few building sources in there. <laughs> That's the entrance I came in. Let's go back to where we came. It 
So anyway, this is the tour. I don't want to go outside, I don't want to be seen. But, uh, as you can see, there's just overgrowth everywhere. It's scary, the old building. in box one, in box two. And yeah, you've seen scary movies, you don't want to go down there. But it is literally like going back in time. Stairs. I've got the courage to go up. It's fucking scary. It's about five o'clock now. Over 100, 100 years old, 120 years old. I don't like that, that crumbling noise underneath my feet. Smashed up bathroom. You can literally hear everything. Everything echoes. Going back in time. Clearly they're renovating and they're doing something to it. But I've got an adrenaline rush. Adrenaline rush. Killer a Reaper. Seeker, number two. It is late on a Sunday afternoon, slash nine. I'm sure I'll go up the next one. I'm gonna push my luck. Scary up here. You get the light. You can see how small the rooms used to be, but all the walls collapsed and stuff here. So I'm not really sure about that. I presume people have been in here, so. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get much further in. Crazy stuff.
It is like literally walking into a scary movie. All the roofing has come down. Feels like the fucking floor is about to cave underneath me. I'm not sure I'd do this at night, but it's getting close enough to night, that's why. So I've got an eerie, gloomy, dark feeling. Ooh, I don't know what that wheel was for. As you can see, you've got overgrowth all over the building. No idea what's down there. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I don't know what it does, but check it out. I'm going to put more details in the link in the bio. This is stuff I did back in 2005 with my mates at Bundura Secondary College. But I never thought I'd be doing this in Germany. Some more rooms down there, but I think I've said enough today. We'll never be here ever again, but at least I came in here. Ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for watching this video here on this Sunday night, Halloween, at the Bierlitz Hospital, which has been abandoned for the last 25 years, and is 121 years old. I've still got the thrills, the chills, and the kills running through my blood veins at the moment, as I've literally just come back from sneaking into that abandoned part of the hospital. You weren't meant to do so, but I did it anyway. You know what, you live once, but we got away with it. So A-OK. -okay. And guys, just remember, if you do enjoy Winston Media content, all about travel vlogs, sport-related content, and much, much more to come, please click that subscribe button. Keep supporting me by liking my videos and dropping a comment on any other kind of content that you'd like me to do. Take care out there. Love you all. And I look forward to seeing you on the next adventure here on Winston Media.